Independence Fire Department was called to the scene at 2056 Jamestown Avenue, north of Independence, for fire at this room on the upper floor. When the first unit pulled in here, they had fire on the second floor up here mm -hmm. in this corner bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, now uh, I understand this. Uh, it was more of a it was more of a computer room uh, from from what uh, one yeah, of your that's officers. That's what she told us it was a computer room, and there was computers and stuff in mm -hmm. that particular room. Was this, uh, oh, could you consider this more of electrical in nature then? Yes, that's where we're at, is it's electrical in nature. Mm -hmm. Fire was limited to that one room, and firefighters were able to knock it down fairly quickly this morning, at, at Thursday morning, and the traffic was limited to one lane in each direction during the, the incident. Look for this start in the attic area and be a drop fire and then spread from there. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, uh, how would you characterize the damage? Uh, the first floor is just going to be moderate smoke damage. You know, the second floor is just extensive smoke and fire damage. And crews had to battle with bone-chilling temperatures during the fire. Well, just just know you're going to have a fire when the conditions get like this. It's mm -hmm. Just a Murphy's Law, I guess. Mm -hmm. For the Bulletin Journal, this is Eric Van Sickle reporting outside Independence.